guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Moss Family Chevrolet, and boy, do I have the most sinister, sickest Camaro to be created to this date. What we have is a brand new 2019 Camaro ZL1 1LE. Let's talk a little bit about Camaro. Camaro was Chevy's answer to the Ford Mustang. Over the years, they battled back and forth, back and forth. With this, everything, and I'm talking about everything that Chevrolet has learned, not only on street performance, drag strip, but also road course performance, is this ZL1 1LE all about. So when you go into Moss Family Chevrolet and you want to get yourself a supercharged Camaro, you can go with the standard ZL1 setup. That would be a great car for a person that wants extreme performance on the street. If you want something, if you're a track person, and when I say track, I'm talking about road course, you want something that's a road course weapon that's gonna have you surpass cars from Ferrari, Porsche, Lamborghini, so on and so forth, this is the box you wanna check off. It's an option box, 1LE. It's all about handling and braking and aerodynamic performance because underneath that hood with that carbon fiber heat extractor, you're still looking at 650 horsepower, 650 foot-pounds of torque from that supercharged V8, just like the standard ZL1 and just like the Z06 Corvette. But as you can see, wrapped around that body is some special niceties that are gonna make Batman want this car. Let's go ahead and dive right into the front of this Camaro ZL1 1LE, what are we gonna see? We're gonna see dive planes. You can see the addition of all the aerodynamic tweaking that has been done to help produce downforce to the front of this car. This is stuff that you find on race cars. Unbelievable, the scoops. I'm gonna have Tom kind of zoom in there and show you that these scoops are functional. Deep inside there are radiators. This car has multiple radiators to cool that engine, 650 horsepower, Doing that track day, lap after lap after lap, it's gonna create a lot of heat, but all the way across this large front splitter, all the way across that massive opening. Now, what I love about the 2019 Camaro ZL1 1LE compared to any other 2019 Camaro is they didn't mess with the front end. The front end looks just like a 2018. I love the ZL1 badging and you have that flow tie. Remember, the flow tie first appeared on the 2014 Camaro Z28. That opening within the bow tie, the Chevrolet bow tie, allows even more air to flow through it. All the way across, so sinister. The new headlights, unbelievable. And just everywhere you look, it just screams, I want to go fast. And this thing, I'm telling you, it looks like Batman would drive it. Or I wouldn't mind it. Up onto the hood, you can see the flat black really works well. Now with that 1LE box, you're gonna get a, a flat black hood. It's an extra option for the competition. Um, carbon fiber package, it is beautiful though. It is well worth it if you wanna go all the way extreme with your ZL1 1LE. Love the badging on the hood. Really harks back to those days of the muscle car eras in the late 60s. Really hits it spot on. As we come around, you can see just how functional everything is here. Beautiful. Wheels. 19-inch wheel, these are forged, not cast aluminum, so they're gonna be stronger and they're gonna be lighter, less rotating mass, gonna quicken up that steering. Massive rotors, aluminum hats, so they're two-piece rotors, that's gonna help with cooling. You have a Brembo six-piston caliper set up on this with the 1LE badge on it. Underneath the fenders, front and rear, and everything in between is special suspension geared just for this car. So this has obviously Chevy's Magna Ride suspension. That is a great suspension, but it's been calibrated like no other to make sure that you're gonna get utmost performance from the back, excuse me, from the front and the back of this car, but just unbelievable. Every time I look at this, I just get drawn into that black paint. As we continue down the side, all of this is standard Camaro. What's 1LE specific is gonna be this lower side skirt. You can see how it cuts out and then it flares back out all the way to the rear. Let me real quick, I, mean, I know Tom's gonna drive, me, drive him nuts, but let's real quick go back to this tire. So this is a 305, 305 with tire up front. That is, there's some cars on this lot that don't even have 305s on the rear. 
When we get to the rear though, still dealing with Brembo calipers, so you're going from six piston, these are four piston. These though, 325 width. So remember, when you look at a tire and you see how it says 325, that's the width. 30 is gonna be the height of the sidewall and this is a 19 inch wheel and tire setup. ZR is the speed rating. Unbelievable, I love the flat black. Works great with that hood. Also Tom, show them what type of rubber we're working with here. These are track specific tires. Yes, you could drive them on the road, but these Eagle F1 tires, you see there's not a lot of tread there. This thing is to get heated really quickly as you're doing your track day. Speaking of track day, what you're gonna need is some downforce. Hence this carbon fiber rear wing. So to blend in well with the hood heat extractor, this carbon fiber rear wing, it does not adjust. So I am gonna zonk it because it doesn't adjust, but this rear wing produces 300 pounds of downforce. That's like God putting his hands on the back of this car to make sure that these two rear tires, which, Tom, show them the width of these tires, please. How wide those 325s are, that's gonna make sure when you come out of that tight turn and you roll on the throttle, she's gonna stick. I love the rear diffuser, the way it's a flat black. I wish it was a little bit more, I don't know, uh, race car-ish in its look to separate it from the Camaro SS. You have the same quad tip exhaust, that's that active exhaust that you could make louder or quieter depending on what you want. Here are the new 2019 taillights. I wish, if, the, if it didn't have the horizontal line, I think they would look way better. ZL1 badge, I'm zonking it. That needs to go here. Get the bow tie off, or at the least, take that and put it right at the bottom of the trunk here. But as we work our way all the way across, such a sick machine from front to back, top to bottom, Let's go ahead, pop that hood, and see the heart of the ZL1 1LE. All right, guys, here we are. We got the hood open. So massive. That's been pried out of a Z06 and shoehorned into that Camaro. That's that LT4 supercharged engine, 650 horsepower, 650 foot-pounds of torque. If you're wondering, why is the supercharger on some cars more raised and on this one it's just flat, it's because actually the supercharger is inverted. They did that on purpose so that they wouldn't have a 13 inch cow hood on the front of this that's gonna you know, blind your vision as you're going through the turns. Wonderful setup with that power. Now with this car, you are gonna have to pay the gas guzzler tax because in the city, you're looking at around 13 miles of the gallon. That gas guzzler tax, you're paying the government $1,700 for this. But you know what? At the end of the day, you're looking at zero to 60, 3.4 seconds and the quarter mile and around 11.2. So obviously this car is gonna be fast in a straight line, but what this ZL1 1LE is all about fast and taking the turns. But let's go ahead and see if the bark of this ZL1 1LE is as much as the bite of it. Let's go ahead and start her up. guys it's that time we're inside this 2019 ZL1 1LE this thing is badass and what does badass cost nowadays MSRP on this one is around $72,000 let's see what we get check out the door panels Alcantara splashed everywhere you have Alcantara up top on the top portion of the door panel the red contrast stitching nice silver dressed up. It's crazy how some Alcantara and some red stitching makes a Camaro door look that much better. As we transition inside, we have more of that beautiful Alcantara. The top of the dash though is still that hard plastic. I'm surprised that at least this section, it should be upgraded with something a little softer. There's our infotainment system. They have it slanted. It's supposed to help with the glare. Some people don't like the angle. They say it's a little cumbersome to navigate through, but obviously with your navigation and everything works just like any of the other General Motors products that we've showed you here on Rady's Rides. Slim and trim on the AC controls. What I love about the Camaros is that you use the outer ring of the vent 
to adjust your temperature and it shows up on the screen. Obviously, you're gonna have dual climate control. You got your blower uh, switch right here in the center. Uh, so that is something that is a little different and whatnot than some other cars. Here's that slick shifting transmission. This thing, this gearbox is so unbelievable. All six gears, short throws, Alcantara on the boot, Alcantara on the shift knob, ZL1 on the top with the red. All the numbers are done up so nicely. I love this gearbox so much. It's unbelievable. I want to get it a Valentine's Day present. That's how much I love this gearbox. Center console, harder plastic. You do have a 12 volt right here, which is kind of a weird location. Um, you do have the Alcantara on the knee pads on the side here. So when your passenger and you are flying around your favorite race course, you're not going to be hitting the hard plastic. So you do get the Alcantara there. You got your mode selector button, obviously to go through the different modes. Leather on the armrest. It is hard, but who's really caring about resting their arm in this car? And then finally to wrap it off, these Recaro seats. This is amazing. Heated and ventilated. I love the Recaro. I love the ZL1 badge. I love it all. The piping, the stitching, the material, the bolstering. They are some of the most amazing seats I've ever sat in. Obviously going to be electric assist and getting it to fit your body before you turn those fast laps. And then you also have the red. Of course, if you got a car like this, a 1LE, you got the red seat belts. That means you're ready for business. Nothing different on the headliner, so standard Camaro headliner. It would be nice to see Alcantara, so I will zonk that, but that would have been a nice touch. But why don't you come on over to this end, and I'll show you the business side. Come on over. All right, guys, proper time. We're behind the wheel of this sinister black 1LE, that ZL1 with that extra option. Now, new for 2019, probably the biggest thing on this car is you could get it with the 10-speed automatic transmission which we do know is a great transmission, is gonna make you very fast, but there's nothing like rowing through your own gearbox like this car. Love how the seat fits me, six feet tall, you got a little, a bit of rubber and aluminum pedal down there. I would like to see a bigger dead pedal. I'm zonking that dead pedal because remember, the point of a dead pedal is not only a place to rest your foot, but I'm telling you right now, when you're cornering with 300 pounds of downforce on the back, you're gonna to wanna to support yourself, embrace yourself. Alcantara on the steering wheel, ZL1 badge right here. I wish they would have done this in carbon fiber. That would have been a nice touch. Love the gauge layout. Analog tack, analog speedometer. You have the digital gauges across the top, and then you could toggle through that information there very nicely in the center. Shows oil life, tire pressure, all that good stuff. You could then do a start timer. I mean, this car has so many different features. You could go through all your different um, uh, audio, navigation, all that. There's some uh, oil temp. You can keep scrolling down. Oil pressure, battery voltage, transmission fluid temp. That's important when you're doing those track days. Tire temp. So not only tire pressure, but tire temperature. I mean, this is like your own engineer riding in the car. Wheel slip angle, and then back to oil pressure again. So really amazing, this car. But if you're ready, oh, one last thing paddles. You're probably wondering, Joe, why are there paddles on a manual transmission car? The reason why Chevrolet does this is that you could turn on and off the rev match feature. So this has that rev match feature where you don't have to worry about being twinkle toes and doing your heel toe downshifting. You could focus on your marks and the car will do it for you. If you want to shut it off, you just hit the, the paddle, which is a nice touch. My only worry about that, some aggressive tracks, what happens if you accidentally bump it and you didn't know right away and then you go to downshift and you let out that clutch? Mm, I don't know if I want to be in the car with you, but you're going to be in the car with us because guess what? We're taking this 1LE for a spin. Hop in. Let's go. Guys, we're in the 2019 Camaro ZL1 1LE. The clutch is so feather light in these cars. It's amazing. You'd think it would be a hassle, but it's not. You hear some wine coming from that supercharger. I love the feel of the steering wheel in my hand. The shifter throws are so short. Over these bumps though, you'd be surprised. The Magna Ride is doing its job. Not too, too bad, like harsh. I mean, it's gonna be bouncy, no doubt about it. 
but I do feel planted. You have a wonderful heads up display up there. But I think it's great that we could kind of take it down this bumpy road just to show you, hey, is this really capable to be driven on the street? So smooth the throttle. Remember, with that supercharger, it's different than a turbo. So that power is going to be pretty instantaneous because the supercharger is being driven by the engine. Um, the downside to that is that it takes some power to churn the supercharger, but hey, 650 horsepower, that's pretty amazing. But this gearbox, really nice, and I'm telling you, these Recaros are probably the best ones I've ever sat in. Just really nice driving car. I mean, this is the ultimate Camaro to the max. I mean, this is even more so than a, a Corvette. Handles amazing. Unbelievable. Let me go ahead and roll on it here. Wow. You hear that downshift? Left hand band. I'm being a little gingerly because remember, those tires are really meant for the track. You want to get some heat into them. See rolling away, let the clutch out, nice and smooth, second gear, easy peasy, third gear, you got plenty of torque to pull you, trust me, I can promise you that. Wow, this car is just unbelievable, here we go, roll on the throttle, brake pedal feels great, modulation great, you hear that automatic Rev match downshifting. This whine of the supercharger. This car just begs to be pushed. It begs. Wow. Amazing machine by Chevrolet. And to be honest with you, price point wise, 72 grand. I mean, that's a lot of performance for the money out of this thing. And this gearbox feels like it's out of a Trans Am race car. That's how good it feels. Feedback from the steering wheel is amazing. I feel like my frontal lobe is attached to the asphalt. That's how I feel from those front tires and the actual steering of the car. So that's really amazing. And then my amygdala, which remember is your emotion center, right now is going out of control. It's a little bit of everything just thrown in together. Wow. Brakes feel just, just so amazing. And even like I said, over these rough patches, the car is not too bad when it comes to hitting those bumps. I don't want to drive this car back to Moss Family Chevrolet. I think we need to go just a little bit longer. Ready for the auto rev match. Nice. You can hear the stones being picked up from the sticky tires. That is what you're gonna get. These tires are not gonna last ultra long for you, that's for sure. But uh, you are gonna get the stick when they're feeling good. Really wonderful to feel. Let me go ahead and drop it down in a second. Roll on the throttle. Un freaking believable. That's all I gotta say. And when you get on the brakes, I'm telling you, it's a powerful feeling in this car. You could feel them biting down on those rotors. The calipers just slowing you down. Amazing. And the wine of the supercharger is a nice extra touch. Great sound from the exhaust. Wow. Unbelievable, this car. Love that auto rev match. And like I said, you can shut it off, turn it on from the paddles. I wish right now there was a little section of twisty road 
to really take this car down because that's what it deserves. It does not deserve this straightaway driving here, that's for sure. But still very docile. That's the best part of it, is that I'm driving this car in Friday traffic and it's a very easy to live with car overall. You just gotta be a little mindful of the grip of those tires and definitely gonna want some heat put into them, that's for sure, before you start romping on it. But when it comes to clutch, the clutch is feather light. The auto rev match downshift makes things easy peasy. Guys, like I said, just pulling out is so easy with that clutch. First gear, second gear, nice and smooth. That's another wonderful thing is that this car is just so smooth. Roll on the throttle. Into this right hand bend. really feel the traction control kicking in trying to stop the spin from those rear tires because I mean 650 horsepower in those basically track day ready tires um, it's crazy it really is crazy this thing is one amazing piece of machine that's for sure all that auto rev match downshift wow let's make a quick u-turn here easy see how easy it is to drive this though that's the that's the funny part and the slow stuff it's so easy to drive that's the crazy thing just so easy to drive first gear not even gonna wind that out i'm not that crazy second feel the traction control doing its thing i feel planted though into this right hand bend, get on the brakes. Really, really nice. The feedback from the front end, it's unbelievable. It feels like you're on a slot car track. I don't know how many of you played with slot cars as a kid. That's what you feel like in this thing. Once you start speeding up that tempo and you get some empty road in front of you, this thing is a slot car for the road. That's what you're gonna feel like unbelievable sensation visibility is your typical Camaro stuff so I'm not even gonna touch that because you know what because this is a 1LE I'm gonna let the visibility suck because out front where you should be looking it's not so shabby nice flat hood I could see what I'm doing so that makes it easier because remember you always look where you want to go whether that's on the regular road or you're doing a track day look where you want to go. Here we go. Awesome sound. Shifts so crisp. This is not a drag car by any means. This is a car for the road course and just that straight line acceleration proves that hey if you're at sebring and you're going down the back straight towards sunset bend you're going to be carrying some heft with you you're going to be carrying some speed so those massive rotors with the six piston calipers are going to be able to grip you just like i'm gripping the steering wheel but then like i said you want to just cruise we got the ventilated seats on the ac's on hey we're just in a camaro officer no big deal the shifts love this car love this car really really nice I'm just gonna be quiet are the days that I 
am just so grateful for Radies Rides and so grateful for all of you. And of course, I'm grateful for Moss Family Chevrolet, Ricky and everybody here so accommodating, getting us this ZL1 1LE right out of uh, PDI and prep and here on the channel. If these are the bad mamma jammas that you like to see on Radies Rides, and I know you do, leave a comment in that comment section. If you're new to the channel and you wanna see more bad mamma jammas, hit that subscribe button and come back for more. If you are a subscriber, you know, I know that you know that we love Bad Mamma Jamma. So thank you for all your love and dedication and part of the Radies Rides family. Check out my different forms of social media. You know what they're called. All Radies Rides original content. You wanna get yourself some merch to match your Bad Mamma Jamma? Hit that, uh, that link, takes you right to Spreadshirt. We gotta speak of another Bad Mamma Jamma, one with big muscles. Big Guns McGee, Tom Moshner, getting the angles on this thing. I'm telling you, it was an amazing experience for both of us. Thank you for sharing with us, Tom. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.